So this is the Pixelbook Go. It's Google's latest Chromebook and the design and build quality is so good, I wish it came in a Windows option. Speaking of Windows options, the sponsor of this video has a few for you. If you're a member of the frugal gang like I am, head over to sedkey.com to find awesome deals on game keys and software licenses like Windows 10 Pro for under 17 bucks. And if you enter the secret frugal gang promo code JB20 at checkout, you'll get an additional 20% off. So make us all proud. Click the link in the description and start saving some money. So the Pixelbook Go is like the razor blade stealth gaming laptop of Chromebooks. It's got amazing build quality. It looks great and compared to the competition, it's expensive as hell. <laughs> uh, this year, Google went with a lightly matte black painted magnesium chassis with soft curves and edges, which looks awesome and feels great. It's a thin little guy at only 13 millimeters and super duper light at 2.3 pounds. Uh, the bottom's ribbed for her pleasure and there's three ports, a headphone jack and two anti-Thunderbolt 3 USB type C ports. The 13 inch 1080p display is like the perfect one-handed opener. It's super smooth, but firm at the same time. Don't say it, Jared, don't say it, Jared. That's what she said. And it's a pretty nice panel that gets plenty bright at up to 368 minutes with a nice color gamut at 100% sRGB. So watching content's been awesome. There's also a two megapixel camera at the top that'll do 1080p and it's actually not bad. Uh, the backlit keyboard's actually pretty great. We've still got the same typical Chromebook layout, but now we've got a dedicated Google Assistant key. And now Google's using their new key switches called Hush Keys. And I have to admit, even though I'd prefer a deeper travel distance, they're actually pretty nice to type on. Like they've got a nice little tactile bump at the end, but at the same time are super quiet. Now the click style trackpad's plenty big enough. It's perfectly accurate with no funny business. And since it's got a glass surface, finger glide is like butter. I love it. Just one problem. The clicks are loud as hell, which kind of negates the purpose of those ultra quiet hush keys. Uh, there's a couple of up-firing speakers and they kind of caught me off guard because they sound great. Uh, they're loud and full sounding with awesome mid-range. Now, <laughs> obviously Chrome OS isn't for everyone, but I've always liked it for the simple stuff that I actually do every day, like check emails, browse the web, watch YouTube videos, stuff like that. And since you can install Android apps from the Play Store, it just gives more flexibility with what you can do like some limited gaming. I was able to play some basic games and driving games, which ran just fine, but when it comes to shooters like Call of Duty, it basically gets to the developer's splash screen and then just crashes to the desktop. I was able to get PUBG to load, but unless I felt like doing a bunch of dicking around to get it to work with the controller, I'd be using the touchscreen, which on a laptop, I'm not even gonna attempt, especially when there's no support for a keyboard and mouse. Now, the Pixelbook Go starts at 650 bucks for the base model, but I'm not quite sure how far that Intel Core M3 would take you. My review unit is the next step up at 150 bucks with an 8th gen Core i5, 8 gigs of RAM, and 128 gig SSD. Yeah, the 8th gen i5 is a couple generations behind, but with 8 gigs of RAM and Chrome OS, which is meant to run on like super low power devices, I can have as many tabs open as I need without any noticeable performance issues. Oh, by the way, uh, in case you were wondering if you can take it apart and upgrade the RAM and storage yourself, there's a couple of T4 Torx screws on the bottom, but after removing them, I just flat out couldn't pry the bottom panel off. Uh, there's probably a couple of extra screws under the rubber feet, but I wasn't about to start digging and ruin the bottom. Now, there's a 47 watt hour battery, which Google claims will last you 12 hours. And I actually see that being possible at lower screen brightness levels. But I think for the average person, at least for me, with a higher screen brightness at around 80%, I was getting about nine hours, which let's face it, that's still really good. And it does come with a 45 watt fast charger, which will give you two hours of battery with only 20 minutes of charge. So anyways, as far as Chromebooks go, the Pixelbook Go is the tit, but it's just so expensive to the point where for the same price, you can easily find yourself an even more capable Windows laptop. Like, I'm not saying not to buy it, I'm just saying explore your options. Anyways, I think that about does it for this one. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, show me some love with that like button, maybe subscribe if you're new to my stuff, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram to see what I'm up to next. But thanks, as always, for watching, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Cheers.